If there's one thing conservatives will gather around, it's conservative art. So today, we're going to tackle American Flags by Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun. You've seen it all over TikTok. It's gotten a lot of plays on YouTube. I've heard the chorus, a little bit of the chorus, but I'm going to listen to the whole song today because apparently I have done something wrong and need to be punished. So today's reaction show here at the Duck Pin, it's American Flags. I'm Brian Griffiths, the uh, publisher of the Duck Pin. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't miss out on what we're doing over at the Duck Pin. And God help me, away we go. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god, it's new metal, except it's rap. That's what this is. Dear God in heaven. Oh my word. Oh dear God. This is garbage. I'm sorry, this is new metal garbage. This is Limp Biscuit with face tattoos. Oh dear God in heaven. Let's let's suffer through together. You know, there was a time where conservatives would have just complained about the baggy pants and the machine rages on. That was a, that's a Gary Bauer deep cut for those of you who were playing at home. Surprised this week to see you fall into a mosh pit while a band called uh, The Machine Rages On or Rage Against the Machine played. But, uh... <sighs> wow. Wow. I never want to hear a conservative, a Trump humping voter ever complain about rap music again. I like how he points at his junk when he talks about brave. Oh, man. Oh, dear God. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's wear a, a, a neon green ski mask in the middle of the desert. That's classy. I don't know who the dork is at the back holding the flag. Like, he seems to have absolutely no purpose here other than to be the second for the schmuck and dreadlocks. I mean, I don't, I don't know what his purpose is here, but I don't think he's, he's providing a whole lot of value added. Oh, let's do some calisthenics. Yep. Jump, 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 jump. Wave the flag. Oh, all I had, I had to speak him into existence so Eric Rowan here can rap. The fright say he can't rap either. This is painful to watch. Like, this is this is truly painful to watch. Like, this is bad. This is awful. It's not getting any better. Degeneration X, baby. Oh, the tank's moving now. Oh, 
Oh, headbang. Yeah, baby. Put up those devil horns. Wait, what? Did Trump, Trump voters say that? I'm not paid enough to do this. I'm not there's I'm not paid enough for this. I'm really not. Rockefeller, I'll pre-order, of course. Of course, oh, they've got a name. Okay. Well, anyway, oops, don't, nobody wants to hear that again. All right, let's, let's get out of this. A couple years ago, 2011 or 12-ish, there was a group called Madison Rising, and they did a cover of the Star Spangled Banner that was super popular in conservative circles for probably about six months or so. And it was super popular. It wasn't bad. Look, and I, I pop for any time that you couldn't do a Star Spangled Banner with a guitar, right? And the thing is, right, is that that worked and got popular because it was a conservative doing music. You know, in hindsight, it wasn't good. It turns out those guys were just goofy anyway. But this has the benefit of being conservative and terrible art um kind of like that michael moore movie that came out that pastiche of michael moore um i don't even remember what the damn name of the movie was it was out for a hot second conservatives are like this movie's being suppressed and it was a pile of flaming hot garbage nobody should listen to this song this song is trash if people like it that's fine but i would rather have be locked in a cell listening to creed on repeat than ever have to hear that Fakakta thing ever again. Hey, listen, send your suggestions in the duckpin at gmail.com and uh, we'll do something far less annoying for our next episode of Duckpin Reactions. Hey, I'm Brian Griffiths. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you next time.